Transformers Universe number three, the third tantalizing issue with the Dinobots on the front cover and my man Shockwave on the back cover. And if Shockwave is in this issue alphabetically, you know who else is in this issue, so it might be so powerful that the light battery just died while I was recording. <laughs> wow. It's the power of Shockwave. Let me replace that. Arm back. The upside to battery powered lights is that you can't trip over the cables and kill yourself. The downside is that they eventually run out of batteries and then interrupt your Transformers comic book review. But that's okay because I have spare batteries and this book has lots of Transformers. A lot of good ones. Did they all start with R's and S's? <laughs> I think so. Rampage! Ratchet. Nobody cares about Ram... Sorry, Ratchet. Nobody cares about Ratchet. Ravage, however, one of my favorites. Ravage was like the snake eyes of the Transformers. Razor Claw was like the head of Voltron. Red Alert? I don't think I... Even knew Red Alert existed. They had more than one Lamborghini Countach. I mean, we had the twins, right? Sideswipe and Sunstreaker, and they should be in this issue. Since they all start with S's. Rumble! First we crack the nuts, then we... Wait, no, that was backwards. First we crack the shell, then we crack the nuts. And, yeah, Transformers the movie. Best movie ever made that isn't Robocop. Let's see, Run Amok. Who the hell had Run, run Amok? Is that a thing? Constructica, Shockwave. All right, here we go. Shockwave. Weakness. Wasn't he just an arrogant bitch? Shockwave's wave E mission power, as well as his flying, is limited by his high fuel consumption. Yeah, but who cares when you turn in when you can transform into that and just shoot everything? Something he can use uh, radioactive fuels and small nuclear reactor within his torso. Uh, he, if he's got a nuclear reactor, he's got to be good. They had a tr transformer hovercraft. I didn't even know that. All right. Anyway, Shockwave is just awesome. Clarity of thought before rashness of action. Uh, sure. Whatever, Shockwave. Sideswipe! The red Lamborghini. Because everybody liked the Lamborghini Countach back in the 80s. Silverbolt! What's the, what's the one that transformed... Ah, there we go. Skylinx. That's right. I still have Skylinx. Kids love Skylinx. I don't have the base of Skylinx anymore, though. But this part's really fun. Especially when you want it to eat other action figures. Because you can gobble them up. Slag. Skywarp was always one of my favorites. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of just the old school like F-15 Decepticons before they made a, before they made a thousand of them. And like, I don't know, I, I just think it's blasphemy that the Autobots got airplanes. Like, I don't like the aerial bots. That's what I think about the aerial bots. However, I do like Snarl. Starscream is pretty awesome. And Soundwave. What does Soundwave transform into? Amazon Music. Or Pandora. Cries and screams are music to my ears. Oh, Soundwave, you're the best. He transforms into a cassette player, for those of you who don't know what a cassette player is. Look it up on the internet. Or whatever. Sunstreaker! And Superion, which is what the aerial bots transformed into, so we automatically don't like Superion. But I do like this issue because it provides a lot of information about your favorite or least favorite transformers shockwave soundwave rampage ravage sunstreaker and apparently sea spray transformers universe issue number three if you're going to collect the other issues you obviously need this one as well they don't cost all that much hunt this one down online 80scomics.com it's transformers universe i'll see you soon with some more 80s comics reviews i've told the story before but i had this chance back in like 86 or so 87 I know, probably 86 my parents were like okay you can have one of the big transformers because you know, had they had all like the cheapy ones and there was like the middle range transformers like mirage and most of the cars and the jets and stuff then they had the big ones the expensive ones like optimus prime i want to say optimus was probably like 40 bucks which was a fortune back in the 80s so I was about to get Optimus Prime, but then I saw Shockwave, and I was like, nope, nope, screw Optimus, I want that. I made the right choice, because it made me a better man. 